Hi everybody, this is Julie Bean with Beta Holique, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make this dagger necklace. It features check glass dagger beads combined with some seed beads and some pretty other beads, and is finished with a little button clasp. So I have this little tiara cast one right here, which is so pretty. So what you'll need to make this necklace is you'll need the dagger beads. So they're right here. So they have a tapered shape to them. You see, they've got like a nice long taper and they've got two holes. So we're gonna be using both those holes to make this really um, pretty, not layered design, but it's really a, a design that looks like it's got a lot happening with it. Then you're gonna be using a Mayuki 11 Delica, a Toho Demi Round. So these are nice little thin beads, which come in handy for spacing. This is the 11 -0. We're gonna use an 8 Toho Round Bead. And then we're gonna be using these little guys over here. So these are little check glass spacer beads. And it was a bit of a challenge to figure out the right spacing so that the daggers didn't get all bunched up. So that's why I have so many beads that are of different thicknesses. So they're all small beads, but they're just ever so slightly different so that we could get the right spacing and sizing. And then we're gonna be using a Wildfire 0 .006 thread. For the clasp, we do have the button right here. It does come in a variety of finishes. I, I did just pull from my demo here, this other finish, but it comes in all these lovely finishes. This is by Tierra Cast. And then it does have matching charms. So I did think if you wanted to, you could put a little focal, if that's something that is appealing to you as well, that matches your clasp. So I'm going to clear some of this away. Oh, for my tools, I have a beading needle, size 10 -0, and a pair of scissors. I'm just gonna clear some of this away so that I can start the beadwork. Now that the beads are all laid out, you can see they're slightly different sizes, and that's really helpful. So here we've got the Delicas, the Demi Rounds, the little check glass spacers, and the 8 -0 Rounds, along with the dagger beads. So if you are gonna make the whole necklace, which I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna do a little sample piece, which is gonna show you each step of the way, but in a more condensed form. But if you were gonna do the whole necklace, you would go ahead and start with 60 inches of thread. You would place a stopper bead, which I'm gonna do right here, onto the end of your thread, 15 inches from the end. So we're gonna go ahead and just go back through the bead. So to place a stopper bead, you just string it on and then you go back through it to make a little loop. And then what you can do is you can pull this however you want, you can slide it, but it stops your beads from falling off. So you wanna have about 15 inches on that nice long tail. Now, a quick note, if you're thinking about sizes, this is a collar necklace, so I made it to wear up a little bit higher on your neck. You can make it longer for sure. And where you're gonna add your extra length is right here. So if you see what we have happening here, this is just strung beads. You can make this section as long as you like and you have full tubes of beads. So you're not gonna have to worry about running out of beads. So let's go ahead and begin. We've got the stopper bead on and we're gonna string on one dagger bead through the top hole. So what I'm calling the top hole is the one by the narrowest point. And we're just gonna go right through that top hole. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a Delica, an 8-0 round, and another Delica. So that's what we have on our beading needle. And that's our first little pattern segment. So we're gonna slide that down. And now we're gonna go ahead and pick up another dagger bead also through that top hole. So here's what we have. And I'm gonna do probably about five or six of these just so you can see the pattern. And this is again gonna be my sample swatch. So let's go ahead and do this again. So Delica, Edo Toho, Delica, followed by a dagger bead. Again, the top hole. And we're just gonna keep repeating this. Okay, last one I'm gonna add. Now you would do this for however long you want to have your 
dagger length section. So I used almost the entire strand of dagger beads. You can use fewer, you can buy a second strand if you wanna make this a really long necklace, whatever you'd like to do. But for my little demo piece, this is how long I am making it. And I'll be able to show you everything I need to show you based upon this. So we're gonna actually now make the loop section. So imagine yours is nice and long, it's your whole uh, necklace length. This is the section that we're gonna work on right now is creating a loop. So if you see what we've got here, I'm gonna have this as my little sample. We are going to go ahead and pick up two delicas followed by a 8 0 round, two delicas, an 8 0 round, two delicas, an 8 0 round. We're just going to keep repeating that. And I'm just going to add to the point where I have five of the 8 0 rounds on and then the delicas. So here's what I've got. Okay, so that's what I've got there, which is actually what matches this length right here. That's the exact same length I did there. And now I'm gonna pick up one of my little spacer beads and pull that down. Now for the loop to be the right size, again, this was a lot of trial and error, um, but that's why I'm here. That's why I can do this and then um, you don't have to you know, guess at it. We take the guesswork out of it. So you want to have 28 of the little delicas. So this is gonna make it so it's the right size to go around your little tiara cast button. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna put a few more out here for it's a little bit easier for me. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Okay, so now we've got all twenty-eight on there. And it's a nice long strand, but we want to turn it into a loop. Really easy to do. We're just going to go back down through the spacer bead. That's why we put a really easy bead to identify right there. And if we pull it down, we have a loop. So there is our necklace loop. Now we're going to pick up nine more of the delicas because we got to start now working our path to get down to the second hole on the base, not the base, but on below the um, first seed bead strand here. We want to get down to the second hole on the dagger bead. So we're going to pick up nine delicates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, pull those down. And now what I want to do is I want to go through this little Toho bead right here, the 8 -0. And I'm doing this just to anchor this strand. I did it to begin with without it, and I just went straight down to the daggers, and it always ended up looking a little bit floppy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this so it anchors it in place. And it creates just a little bit more of a design element. Okay, we need another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine okay so we got the other nine on our needle and now we're ready to go straight into the second hole of that dagger bead okay and let's do that okay, now we're ready to start our second row you see our thread here is exiting that dagger and i've laid out a few more beads so we, that we have them handy here we're going to go ahead and pick up the little demi round. And if you can see, it's gonna be hard to get in focus, but that is a very little narrow bead, which is so handy. And then we're gonna do a spacer bead. And then we're going to do another demi round. So that is our combo for the second row. And we're just gonna go over to the second hole on the bead next to it, the next dagger. 
So there is our first complete cluster or segment, I should say. And then we're gonna repeat that. So now we are gonna do another demi round, another check glass spacer bead, and another demi round. And we're just gonna work our way over to the next dagger. Okay, we're gonna keep going. And you will do this for the entire length of your necklace. So again, I'm just doing a sample swatch so that I can show you all the steps and the techniques, but you will have a nice long necklace to do this too. And you're just gonna keep repeating. So let me show you. We're almost done with my sample swatch for the second row. And we still have our spacer bead attached there on the end, which we'll remove later. Okay, so here we go. So now we've got the top row done and the second row done, and we have the loop done. So we're really getting there on this necklace design. So now that we have that second row done, what we're going to do is we're going to take a Toho, an Edo, and we're gonna create a second spacer bead. So we wanna be done with this length of thread for now. We're not permanently done with it, but we're gonna be done with it for now. So to create a spacer bead, again, you just put that seed bead on your thread, make a little loop, go through it basically. And then for us, we're gonna slide it all the way down right here. So now we've got two spacer beads holding together our beadwork. So the reason we have to do this is because we're ready to add this other side of the necklace and we need to add the top row first because remember this little trick we did right here? We wanna add the top row first so we have something to go through. So here we go. So I'm just gonna take my needle off of my one thread. I'm going to slide this bead off. I just pulled it off of my nail. So now that is ready to go. And what we're going to do is re-thread our needle. Okay, so we've re-threaded our needle. That's why you had that nice long tail. And now we're gonna repeat what we did before. So we added two delicas, followed by an eight-o, two delicas, an eight-o, two delicas, an eight-o. We wanted a total of five of the eight-os on here. But again, you can vary this. If you want your necklace to be longer, go ahead and make this part the longer part. This is where you're gaining your extra length without having to buy more beads. You're not gonna have to worry that you're not gonna have enough supplies. All right, so this is what we've done here. And now we're gonna add the spacer bead just like what we did before on the other side. But this time, this is our button clasp portion. That So here is our button. And then here is how it is attached. So to do that, you are going to go ahead and pick up five delicas this time. So five delicas, one toho. Okay, go through your button. So there's the button shank on the back. And what is happening is that bigger toho is not able to pass through the button shank. So it's a nice stopper. It keeps the button in place where you want it. So now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but picking up the Toho, the Edo Toho first, and now five delicas. Okay, so we've done that. And now we're gonna go back down through our spacer bead. So we created a little loop and what this does is it adds some nice flexibility for your button so that when you're trying to get it onto your neck, it's easy to do so. So now we wanna repeat the pattern we had on the other side. So I actually need a few more seed beads. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and then we're gonna go through the middle, which is the third Toho, eight o. Oh. So there we go. And now we're gonna do the same. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna go back down through our dagger bead. Let me show you right here. So there's just the hole. I'm just going right beside the stopper bead. I'm not going through it. I'm just going right on the edge. So there we go. So this here has completed our bead work. So imagine again, you've got your nice long necklace like you see here. Oops, I'm sorry, everyone. Didn't mean to hit the camera. Okay, so you got your nice long length of necklace. And then at the end, you have your button clasp with the little loop and the button, and this just slides on it. So this is complete and your beadwork is complete at this point. So I'm gonna scoot off all of these beads and show you what we have. So let me get rid of this other bead too. And here we go. Here, this bead's right there. So we still have that stopper bead on there. I'm gonna show you in just a minute how to get rid of it as well. In this portion of the video, I'm gonna show you how to tie off your thread here. So this is really important because this is a beaded necklace using thread, so you wanna make sure it's secure and doesn't fall apart on you, of course. So what you are going to do is you are going to take your thread, go through your beads again, and when you get to a dagger bead, so you can do this two beads in, you can do this four beads in. You remember you have that nice long length. You're also checking your tension. You make sure there's no big gaps in your string. You're also making sure that your beads are not too tight. So you're, this is the point where you're kind of wiggling your thread, making sure everything feels right to you. But right now I am between a little demi round and my dagger bead. I'm gonna slip under the original thread, create a little loop, and make sure it sits where I want it to sit here. But I'm gonna have that little knot sit right between those two beads. So here we go. And when I say those two beads, I mean the dagger and the demi round, and I'm creating a second little knot right there as well. And I wanted to do this because it can then slip into the dagger bead. So now I'm gonna go through a few more beads like so. So it, that knot slipped away, which is great. It slipped in, it didn't slip away, it slipped in. It slipped away is very different. And then I'm gonna go through a few more beads. And again, at that edge of the dagger, so these do get stuck a little bit sometimes. Not, they just get a little caught on the daggers because the daggers are pointy, but just make sure that you don't have any big loops that aren't supposed to be there. Again, I am right along the dagger bead and I'm just gonna slip under the original thread, make a little loop, slip through the loop. Okay, make sure my knot is where I want it to sit. And make a knot, and then make another knot. Okay, so I'm making another knot, and I'm going through my dagger bead again, and gonna pull that knot so it just kind of slips into it. And I'm gonna keep doing that. So on my original design, I did that five times. I don't have five times to do it here, but on my original one, I did it five times. When you're done all the knotting that you want, trim your tail. Okay, so now I've got my needle back, which is what I wanted. And I'm gonna pull my stopper bead from here now. And here I've got this tail, which I can put a needle on as well. Okay, so I've got that tail and we are almost, almost done. So you see what we've got? We just have that one thread left to go. So I want to reinforce this part of my design anyways. So I'm gonna go up through all my delicas
Okay, so I'm going through the delicas first. So there we go, we're up and we're through the delicas. Now we're gonna go through our spacer bead. And we're gonna go up one side here. Okay, and we're gonna, you probably already know where we're going with this. We're gonna go through our button shank again. So now we have that reinforced, so we have another strand of thread going through it, which will help. And now we're gonna go back down through the other side. and through the spacer. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. And now we already went through the delicas, so now we're gonna go through the other side. Here we go. And here we keep going. Okay, so I'm going to just run my needle all the way through and start to go through that dagger. And what we're going to do is the exact same thing. So I'm not going to show this process because it is the exact same thing I just showed. But basically, you're going to go through some beads. And then when you get to the point where it's between a delica and a dagger right here, you're going to tie those knots again. And you're going to then go through a couple more, tie the knots, go through a couple more, tie the knots. And again, I did five on that um, row as well. So that is my little demo piece showing you how to do all the steps of the stagger necklace. So here it is, the finished piece. Let's see, I think I twisted it a little bit. Take this off, okay, and lay it flat. So here is this design complete with the little button and loop clasp. And you can make it in your favorite colors. You can make it as long as you want to make it. So lots of variety here. You can find all the supplies for this, as well as other button choices and uh, other colors over at beadaholic.com.